The math behind small imaging is an intriguing example of how mathematical, pure mathematical research turns into commercially available products within a comparatively short period of about 10 years. Small imaging is a rather new technology which received the Nobel Prize in 2002. And the basic idea is that you take a tissue slice coming from a biopsy from the clinic and probe it with a laser. So if the laser hits at the blue point, it ev evaporates some material which is fed into a mass spectrometer, yielding a spectrum here depicted in blue. If you now probe the tissue slice at the red spot, which is assumed to be part of the tumor region, you get a slightly different spectrum. And this yields a huge data set consisting about 10 to the 5 laser spots, each having about 10 to the 6 uh, MZ values, mass spec values, which is a complete data overflow. And you need to find mechanisms, methods, algorithms to reduce this to meaningful information for the pathologist and the medical expert. One particular task is to determine certain characteristic spectral patterns which allow you to discriminate between pet, uh, healthy tissue and cancerous tissue. So the idea to formalize this and make math available is to assume that those spectra are superimposed from basic spectra which represent baseline, matrix peaks coming from the preparation and characteristic spectra discriminating healthy and cancerous tissue. Mathematically speaking, if you put all the data in a huge matrix, this is a matrix factorization problem, which, however, needs to be amended by non-negativity, sparsely constraints, and including expert information for proteomic identification, which can only be solved by using uh, the regularization theory of sparsely constraints and non-complex optimization developed over the last 10 years. By now, this math has helped to produce a software which is used now in dozens of industrial and research labs worldwide.